No way. We found this at a thrift store, Trinitron, right there. Five dollars, bro. What? It's pretty dirty, but like, there's a bag too. That is crazy. No freaking way. I, I gotta get this. What the heck? In this, dude, it's like perfect. Dude, like, look, we gotta lift up. This is usually like broken off. Like, oh my gosh. All right, let me see if it turns on. You know, we. <laughs> All right, here they come on. For five dollars, that is crazy. Finding it here too, we're at a restore in what Goose Creek. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go for five dollars too. That's crazy. All right, guys, so we are back home with the TV, right? And you know, you kind of see it there, but it's obviously a little dirty. Look up here; it's just like grimy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's like something on it. Like obviously you can get it off right there. But um, you know, just a little bit in here too that's kind of like dirty on like the edges of it. I gotta clean the screen and then on the back I'm see if I can get this paint off. And if not, I mean that's not really the biggest deal. But just you know, give it a good wipe down, and then we're gonna see where we can put this. Um, you know, find a good spot for it in the game room. And uh, you know, plug some systems up and just see what they look like. So let's go ahead and hop into the cleaning and we'll get to the rest. All right guys, so I'm gonna kind of hop in a little bit while I'm cleaning it and you know, just tell y'all kind of how I'm doing things. So I was originally, you know, using disinfecting wipes on this. You can see the clear difference because I started using the toothbrush to get this, I don't know, gamer goo, whatever this is. <laughs> I really don't know. But um, yeah, I'm using the toothbrush and it's coming out a lot better. It is a little sticky, but I think that's because, you know, I kind of just did this like a few seconds ago. So I'm gonna, you know, try to get it all off with a toothbrush and then I'm gonna go back over with the disinfecting wipes and hopefully, it, you know, gets that sticky residue, whatever that is on there, off. Also, here's a little behind the scenes of how I'm recording the time lapse. Hopefully I use it. So we pretty much finished the top. You can see it looks just a million times better. I kind of tried doing the back and I think that paint's not gonna come off either. The back is a little bit, but I mean, I'm really not gonna see that at all. So for right now, I'm not gonna care about it. This is kind of just like to get it in a spot and you know, get it off the floor. But um, I think we're gonna move on to the front now. So uh, let's see how this turns out. So it cleaned up under here, as you can see, looking pretty nice compared to what it was with all that, you know, grease on it or whatever. Screen's looking pretty nice. Um, cleaned that with some glass cleaner, but I didn't spray it directly on. I kind of looked it up and it said, don't spray it directly on the screen. Spray it on the, you know, paper towel, uh, wet wipe or not wet wipe. I used that. Spray it on there first, cloth, and then, uh, you know, wipe it down. So it's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to clean this remote because this is looking pretty down bad. I think I put new batteries in it, yeah. So all I should do is, you know, just clean this up. It does work. I don't think it's the one that's supposed to go with it, but it is a compatible one and, you know, works good for me, so I'm chilling. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then we're going to put the TV in and test it out with some games.
guys we have the tv set up crazy because this is actually being recorded four days after that last clip where i put it in this shelf but yeah guys this tv is the real deal once you get it going i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna find some games pop them into the gamecube and the nes and i'm gonna show y'all what I was missing out on before I got this TV, because this thing is just, it's, it's like the holy grail of TVs. I'm literally not even lying. I know I'm getting hyped up over a 20-year-old CRT TV that is huge and is heavy, but this is the real deal when it comes to experiencing the retro games like they were supposed to, and just in the best way possible. So yeah, let's go get some games. Now the question is, which GameCube game should I pick? I do have a few more down here, not really that many. Oh, Wii U games, but yeah, I think... What we're going to have to start with is obviously Super Mario Baseball, the best GameCube game. I know y'all probably thought I was literally going to say anything else, but no, this is like my favorite GameCube game. So, you know, we got to show our respects and throw it in there first. All right, so guys, we're going to go. We're going to turn the TV on right there. Give it a little time to, you know, warm up. And then we're going to watch this beautiful GameCube intro play. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. I'm telling y'all, this is the real deal right here. Just look how good it looks. Like, it looks so, just, it just is amazing. All right, guys, let's throw in another game that y'all probably like a little more. We're going to go ahead and grab the Pokemon Coliseum right here and throw this in. Y'all know this is an expensive game, and we're going to see how great it looks on the TV. All right, guys, put it in the GameCube. Let's see it. Boom. Turn it on. That literally just brought a tear to my eye. I love the GameCube, man. You know, we're gonna throw in one more game. All right, guys, y'all know we gotta throw Luigi's Mansion in there. Man, I don't even know. This TV is literally what I have been missing for the collection. Like, it makes me want to play the GameCube, the NES, like the, the N64. It, it makes me want to play all that more just because I got this TV. All right, I know this is kind of like low-key terrifying, but since we're already here, let's go ahead to the NES, turn it on, and let's get the iconic Super Mario Bros. 3. Boom. Look at that. That is just perfect. Like I said, this is literally what I have been missing. Now, if there are any other games that I have, that maybe I potentially don't have and I can get, that y'all want to see on this TV and I can maybe throw it in a YouTube short, do kind of like those nostalgia-based YouTube shorts, kind of like this is you waking up in the 90s or something. Let's go ahead, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll throw some on here, get a little kind of, you know, aesthetic video showing it off. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end with some Pokemon Coliseum footage just so y'all can, you know, get the vibes from it. And, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video whenever it is. Peace.